Hey y'all, thanks for joining me. We're in the search because it is the start of the new year and into December where we're looking for the most perfect and ultimate Christmas game. And in some of my adventures, we have found the perfect stocking stuffer. Apparently it's perfect and it's good for your stocking stuffer for only $4.99. I guess let's see how much of a video game this is. Before we can get started though, I have to have my perfect. Christmas hat on because it's Christmas. Yes, the perfect stocking stuffer video game. Easy, fun to play with family safe. 100 levels and high quality music tracks. Special bonus rounds for only $4.99. And look, this is the Santa that you want going down your chimney. And yes, it was the night before Christmas. On the back, it talks about the plot of the game as you are Santa's chief elf, Myron, who needs your help by using the sleigh to knock loose toys and ornaments. And this kind of shows three screenshots which are pretty vague with an installation setup, which is actually pretty simple. The window requirements is everything in Windows 2000 and later, even though it says Vista and 7. And this was actually established in 2009 by Back Alley Media LLC, which unfortunately through a Google search doesn't seem to be around anymore as this was released in 2009 and their company website is no longer valid. So this was more than likely just kind of a shovelware type of game that was included basically for your stocking stuffers either at your local CVS or Walgreens. But let's get into the gameplay. I'm ready when you are. I've ever... We see the main menu with start, options, help, and high scores. Yes, once you get over the high scores of the imaginary people, you then take from difficulty settings for the game from naughty to nice. With the most confusing user interface and experience, using the ornaments to move the difficulty over from left to right, with a convoluted and very long instruction explains how the game actually works when in actuality with good game design all of this isn't even necessary but it also includes a very confusing saving function with using the space bar as a way to get away and actually save the game itself the game itself actually is quite simple it is literally santa claus moving up and down as you play the elf Myron who's moving his sleigh back and forth during the gameplay. You left click in order to release the ornament that is totally indestructible and destroys anything in its way including Christmas trees, other ornaments, toys, cars, even pinball items which is the most confusing type of items itself. The object of the game is to get all of these items cleared out without the ball going past the elf which magically zonks the elf and the sleigh on the head to flatten it to its demise. Multi-ball bonus rounds and extra lives are shown at the bottom with your lives on the right and your ultimate score at the top right. Santa Claus is on the left in the conveyor belt which periodically and randomly will move up to the top of the screen and go across the roof to actually drop down a multitude of items which give you additional points. In addition, it does provide blue ornaments and these blue ornaments are also quite confusing and it doesn't really indicate it at all during this of course reading the instruction manual will help you to show this but collecting the blue ornaments itself will give you random uh, additional meters that go up from left to right either as a multi-ball kind of bonus an actual bonus round which we'll get to in just a second or adding an extra life and if you get the total blue ornaments at the bottom those will be kind of given to you and provided it looks as though all of this is kind of uniform except the extra life which has an ornament on the 
overall right, which has been moved over to the far right to the screen, which feels a little bit like an afterthought. But yeah, you have to be careful when playing this game itself, because Santa being a jerk will throw constant things to tempt you, but at the same time you need to make sure the ornament itself is not going past you in order to take away the life that you are with an elf. The user interface and graphics basically kind of exhibit and show what is similar to what the early 90s Flash games were. I'm actually kind of surprised when I started this game that it didn't just open up a website or just a weird executable that actually is just for Flash games even though that technology is dated and no longer usable. This was a CD installation. It was very simple with an uninstall icon and not even a fully uninstallable program which just kind of shows how quick fast dash this development was. Uh, after this game you play about five to ten minutes even though there's hundreds of levels itself it's not really something that will hold your interest and the most dangerous part of all is that the ornaments being thrown in the beginning actually is the one that takes away the most lives if you're not careful as it bounces off immediately almost to a unpreventable death to your elf Myron. Their ended site as this particular game itself just counts towards score totals and only provides you with making sure that you get to the top level itself, making this game very forgettable. It's very Christmas heavy with all the different backgrounds in each level and also with the different musical themes of Christmas. Santa Claus is coming to town, jingle bells, and various other themes that are thrown in. <laughs> the multi-ball feature and bonus is actually a wonderful thing as it will ultimately almost clear out an entire board with an exploit that if you carry on multi-balls from the first level to the next, it will continue to carry forward, making it a very interesting uh, bonus. Extra life obviously will just continue to give you lives so you can continue moving forward and if you are an expert as you are with this game, this could ultimately end up so that you end up playing all 100 levels itself. The bonus round, as interesting as it is, is all just opening up multiple doors to show presents and as soon as you get five of the same present that is kind of shown, the round is over but no indication on which presents give you more points or vice versa. So really all you just end up doing is clicking until those five are done and there's no repercussions, no mines or anything that inhibit you from ending the round early. So for a $4.99 game in 2009, I bet this was an interesting shovelware title. It definitely should have kind of fit the bill with a nice free flash game for either web traffic from the 90s. Definitely Christmas heavy with a very interesting and confusing theme of Christmas as the gifts are being given to you as the elf catching with the sleigh. Almost as though Santa Claus went out and provided his presents to the world only to go back and try to recollect them all with the usage of the sleigh and the elf in order to ensure that nobody this year in Christmas gets a single present. I highly advise that if you run across this, I'm sure only in the areas of eBay, Amazon, and other areas that you look away for maybe another type of game that will hold your interest for the Christmas spirit, as this does not have the game replayability for adults and teens. In fact, it's most likely just going to be good enough to be a family-safe, child-friendly game and really shouldn't be more value than a few bucks and I would honestly suggest it be more of a free to play game <laughs> for promoting your traffic. Well thanks for joining me and playing this game. <laughs> the perfect Christmas video game, Stocking Stuffer.